Hey guys, it's me, Dravian Edwards, again, and today, I'm just doing, I'm just doing a flashback review. So yeah, that's all, all I'm doing. And you know the characters, you know these four characters from Dicks and Discoveries, right? And you know that Italian, that Italian excavator appeared in all tracks lead to Roman Minds of Mystery, right? Well, I'll tell you, and it's, it's the Trackmaster Push Along Hard at Work 4 Pack. Yes. Well, yes. I I really got these. I really got these for in in Amazon or Walmart. Probably Amazon. Yeah, I think I got them for Amazon. Now let's just take a look at Thomas. Let's just take a look at Thomas. At the front, Thomas. At the front, Thomas has. Thomas has some mud. Thomas had some mud on his face, which is very cool. Which is very cool. You can almost just see that because of the because of the camera wasn't even not focusing. I might have to zoom in off camera. There we go. As you could see, there's mud on his face, which is a really good thing that Mattel did. Yeah, that is a really good touch. And on the side, Thomas had some mud on the side. Yeah, there's mud on the side. Oh, and also one more thing, what I did to Thomas, I just gave him some ribbit detail on the front and even his buffers. And even on the side. Yeah. You could see the mud. You could see the brown mud water right here. As you can really see that. And over here at the back, it's just nothing special. It's just that blank. Yeah, that's why that's why I just said that. Anyway, even what I did to it, I just gave it some window detail and even some rivets on the back and even the buffers. And and there there is the other side, but I just gave it some rivet details as well. And there's some mud. And when you look at this on the top, it has mud in it. This is very good of this Thomas that I really like in the Hard at Work 4 pack. And also, I really like the packaging that it really came with. Because the the um because the package of the four pack got some mud in the package, which is very cool. So yeah, that was Thomas. Now let's now let's look at Muddy Kevin. Yeah, that's Muddy Kevin. So I didn't even do much of. Kevin, I just keep him that way. So yeah, I knew his crane, his arm just goes down and then up because it was tight because Mattel because Mattel did something right. But on this other Kevin right here, yeah, that's just the Kevin from the Sorter Steamy's Ten Pack. It doesn't even go up that much because this was loose. Boo Mattel for not making this thing tight of this crane arm completely. And you know what this costs for Mattel? This costs for you to, to go into your doom. Anyway, let's look at Kevin, I knew I I really like I really like the front. I really like the front, as you can see. Well, slightly because of the camera. 
there's the front of the face. And you know it got mud on, on Kevin because that is a really good touch. And then on the side, we we had we had mud on him, which is very good. And even on the back, just just nothing, just blank, the same old, same old, same old thing. But they just really had that black thingy, whatever it is. So. And there, there's the other side. There's the other side. And he got some mud on the side as well. And also, I really like the stripes because the mud was just on the stripes as well, as well as the other side. And also, when I noticed that it says Sodor Steamworks, but instead, it, it was Sodor Stetworks because the X has cut out. So that is a shame. Boo Mattel. But on the other side, it's correct, but not on this side. Garcia Mattel. Anyway. Yeah, that, that's Muddy Kevin. And I think both. Muddy Thomas and Muddy Kevin were good. And now let's look at the character from Jack in the Pack, or simply known as the the Sodor Construction Company crew, Jack the Front Loader. Yes, that's Jack the Front Loader. And it's just almost like the first time they made a a Jack of Trapmaster push along that I really think about it. So yeah. So anyway, let's look at the front. You could see that that he has a square CGI face. So that was like a change. And I and I, I'm glad they didn't even put a circle face on Jack because I don't even really like that circle face be because he's supposed to have a square face, but now he does. I really like this Jack. And I'm not sure if it's better than the Adventures Jack or something, but give me in the comment section below. Anyway, I what I did to this Jack, I just I just only detailed the I just detailed I just detailed the eyebrows. Yeah, that's all I did. That's all I did. And I really like this front loader of his. It could be really raised up. It could be really raised up like this. Let me get the focus. It could really raise up very easily. And this could really turn very good. And that really goes farther back. This is almost very good that Mattel could have did, could did. Oh, and also there's that little detail over there. It's just full of black and some silver white, as well as the other side. And also, I really, I really like the rivets on him. So that is a good thing. So I really like one of the windows on front and sides. But the sad thing is, is this. Jack doesn't even have the number 11 on the sides. Come on, Mattel. You could have put Jack a number 11 on the sides. This is almost like a terrible disaster. And you know what this costs for again? This calls for you, Mattel, to go to their doom again. And this is what you get. This is what you get for doing this in the Hard at Work 4 pack. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. I really like his sides. And I really like the back. I'm not sure it's blank because it really had a window detail. 
And I know it has that coupling, which is good. I know that Jack really coupled up to the props. It's just like in the, a tale for Thomas episode. So yeah. And I really like the gear wheels. They don't even really bother me. They don't even really bother me with these geared wheels. I mean, yeah, they don't even bother me. So yeah, that's Jack. And now let's look in the greatest characters from Dicks and Discoveries and all tracks lead to Rome and even Minds of Mystery. And it's Esther of Italy. Yes, it's Esther. As you can see. Over here, there's her face, which is very good. It's very good on her face. And I really like the arm right here. It can go up like here and then down. Yeah, that's very good. That is very good. It's very good on this. And I really like it when it that really goes up when I push it down. So yeah. Yeah, I really like the front. And I really like about this Esther, they got her they got her lamp on the side of her, just like in just like in just like in the episode of Dick to Discoveries of All Tracks Late to Room. And then there's and then there's the side, which is very good. And there were these treads or whatever it is. I think they're ca caterpillar treads. Yeah, I really like them. I really like this part green and these and her wheels green. And I really like it. And also, I really like I I really like the 33 on both sides. As you can really see. Yeah, that doesn't even really focus on me. Yeah, I really like him on both sides of him, of her. Yeah, and and blank. That is just nothing special about that back because there's a lamp like there. It's just some detail, and there's a coupling again, and a and there's the other side. So yeah, that's Esther of Italy. So yeah, that's Esther. And there were the four characters from the Hard at Work 4 pack. So, I mean, I'll just go ahead and give them a little bit of a run. I'll just go ahead and give them a little bit of a short run. So here's the Hard at Work 4 pack's little run and Three, two, one, go. Also, one more thing I haven't even showed you in the top of Jack. So, yeah, you can see that brown right there. So, yeah, anyway, let's just get to the run anyway. Ooh. Huh, wouldn't like it. You derailed again. Oh. 
Oh no, the end of the set. Ow. I'm upside down. My turn. Good thing is I save him in time. I mean, I saved her in time. Sorry. Esther's down. Don't worry, Thomas. I'm coming to help you. Thank you, Kevin. No problem, Thomas. It's just like a real crane really likes to do. Yes. Got milk. I carry rock. Me too. Sort of. Why did they really make me look like an excavator while I, I am straight? And why did they didn't make me turn? All right, guys. Here is, all right guys, that's the run of the Hard at Work 4 pack. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I haven't even got a rating on the four of the pack before I start the run. So my rating on, on these four, I give them like a perfect 10 out of 10. So yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and as always, thanks for watching. And and the next video will be the and, and the next video will be the Trackmaster Halloween remake. Also, one more thing, I haven't even got a rating on the Animaniacs the Complete Series because it's a perfect ten on the ten.